can I ever say I am not dropping gems and giving y'all the tea? Don't be ungrateful. Share this with a friend. View my surgery playlist because we are getting right into it. Basically, here's the 411. I get all these questions of how much does this cost, how much does this cost, how much does this cost. And honestly and truly, I just be like, why don't y'all just find out for yourselves? But I understand people use YouTube as a resource. So here I am being a resource. So I compiled a list of doctors that I probably would have went to and also considered for a second round BBL and or lipo now some of the doctors did did give me their lipo prices and so i will give you both now this is a disclaimer of course when you submit photos first of all we're going to go into how to submit photos and everything be sure to look at the chapters to skip to the part of the video that you want to look at now first things first what is bbl what is lipo bb let's start off with lipo <laughs> lipo is a i want to call it more of a body sculpting procedure lipo is not a weight loss procedure and i just want y'all to really understand that a lot of your phase have gotten lipo lipo is a very i don't want to say it's not a uh was it a major procedure a lot of celebrities get lipo and a lot of regular everyday people get lipo it is a fairly cheap procedure that you can get in miami and or out of the country and it is comprised of basically taking unwanted fat out of the body. Now, certain states and countries have a cap of how much fat they, they can take out. In Miami, they can only take out four liters of fat, which is equivalent to only nine pounds. So lipo is not a huge weight loss thing. It really helps with stubborn fat. If you've been working out or just had a child or anything, you've just been working out and you can't get rid of a specific area of fat, lipo is something that you actually could look into now i'm not telling people you need surgery but i am a resource here if you want to look into getting lipo because like i said i don't understand like you know the tiktok sound where it's like it's cool when they do it it's a problem when i do it f them that's how i feel because it's like it's cool when kanye and drake and them got lipo but when i got it it was a problem So that's what lipo, lipo is. Now BBL is when they're taking that same fat that they take out from lipo, they are going to mix it in with antibiotic solution. Usually in the States they're using amoxicillin. However, if you are allergic to amoxicillin like me, they're going to use clindamycin. So they're going to take that fat out, they're actually going to clean it with the amoxicillin or the clindamycin, and then they're going to pump it back into your buttocks or your hips area or both, whatever you prefer. Um, and so that is the difference between a BBL and lipo. Second thing before, how do you inquire about getting surgery? And I know I get a lot of questions about this. So first you're going to research your doctor and I'm also going to do a video on how I research my doctor. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to just base the video off off of my doctor that I chose. I'm going to just tell you all the process in which I did it. That's not for this video. That's going to be next week. So click the subscribe button to make sure that you're able to get the notification for next week and click the bell to get the notification. So you're going to go through your research. You're going to pick your doctor or doctors, pick a couple, and then you're going to go on their website. You're going to actually go on their Instagram. They usually have the link in their bio. You're going to click on that link. After you click on that link, you're going to follow the prompts. So typically it's going to ask for your name. You're going to have to take a bunch of nudes. News flash. If you want plastic surgery, you got to take nudes <laughs> and do not include your face in these nudes. But typically, I will say have about you're going to have to take a front, a back, a side angle, a side, another side angle and another side. So you need six pictures. Some surgery places are just going to ask for front, back, side, side. But take the six with the side angles just in case the forum or the person prompts you to send all those photos. The more photos you have, the merrier. You want the doctor or whoever is viewing your photos to get a good look at your body to see the areas that you may want to lipo, get BBO, whatever. So that's what you're going to do and then you're going to get pricing and everything from there now one thing i would like to add the best thing to do really is to this is imani's cheat code y'all know i'll be dropping gems when it comes to surgery is to look to see if you can be added to that doctor's facebook group now some doctors have closed facebook groups and some doctors have open facebook groups 
generally all of them are closed and you have to ask for access but when i mean open and closed is that the open facebook groups are for dolls who are also considering the doctor now the closed facebook groups are going to be for the dolls who have already signed a contract with said doctor now try to see if your surgeon has an open facebook group that way you can see their work for real you can see girls talking in, in the group you can see girls talking about the coordinators because that's going to give you some strong insights onto what's going on with that plastic surgery facility walk don't run you heard it here first i ain't never heard no dog on youtube talk about this <laughs> so Anyhow, we're going to get started with the doctors. I took the popular doctors and the doctors that I'm considering for my second round BBL. I'm not going to tell y'all who I picked. Y'all probably already know who I picked. But anyway, now the first doctor. Coming in from Houston, Texas. I was about to, play, I was about to say Houston, Miami. Like, girl, what is your problem? <laughs> first doctor coming in from Houston, Texas. I'll have his Instagram screenshot on the screen somewhere. Is Dr. Jung. Now, Dr. Jung actually does really well with ab etching y'all can read more about him i'm not about to put his whole bio um on this youtube video but dr jung is really good for ab etching i really love his work he is a minority he is asian pacific descent and y'all know i love me minority doctors now so he is a minority he does 4d ab etching as his like specialty he does lipo bbls he is a plastic surgeon so he also does breast lifts boob implant he does he does it all child he does it all but he is well known for his 4d ab etching now dr jung child they got back to me when i submitted their pictures my pictures and inquired for a second round with him and said that dr jung for just liposuction starts off at a whopping 15k you heard it here folks fifteen thousand dollars this man quoted me fifteen thousand dollars do you know I almost block this man how dare he play in my inbox like that <laughs> i love you dr jung i still love you but you don't lost your damn mind 15k for the lipo and for a bbl is going to be 19k with dr jung please keep in mind this is for my body specs and i did get the quotes for this month so please when you're considering these doctors your price point will probably probably be right around these price points it might not be exactly the same but it's going to give you an idea of how much these doctors are charging 15k for a lipo 19k for bbl that is dr jung of houston texas child next we got the og peach king raining from miami florida at spectrum aesthetics that is dr oliver chang <laughs> my heart <laughs> Dr. Oliver Chang, I went to him for my first round BBL. I inquired to him again and his total. Now this one, I don't know, it might be because I already went to him or not, I'm not sure. But for a second round BBL with Dr. Chang, it will be starting at 6,500. That was the quote I was quoted for this month. Now Dr. Chang is known as the Peach King. He specializes in slope booties, not shelf booties. He also does not specialize in the vixen look. So if you are a girl like me and you're not trying to look like a vixen, I have that vixen shape. He does not specialize in that. However, he can do it and he has some clientele that do ask for that, but that's not what he specializes in. One thing I do love about Dr. Chang is that he did do ab etching on me without me asking for ab etching. I just think that he just does that for his clients who his dolls who have like less fat in their stomach I don't know but shout out to Dr. Chang he's amazing he is from Asia Pacific descent as well and we are going to move on to the next person reigning from Miami Florida that is at Spectrum Aesthetics is Dr. De Jesus now she actually specializes in tummy tuck mommy makeovers however she does BBLs as well it's so funny because when I was down there at my pre-op appointment I met a second round BBL doll and she also went to Dr. De Jesus her first round and she was going for her second round. That girl, shout out to you girl, I hope you see this video, but she really calmed me down and she had a lot of advice to give me when I was signing my paperwork. So Dr. De Jesus is charging, the quote that I was received was 4,500 for a BBL. I did not ask about lipo prices, but just know that lipo prices are usually cheaper than BBL prices. Um, and this is for Miami, Miami, Florida. Moving on, and she's also a minority too. She is a Latina, so shout out to her. And she's a woman. You know, women know what women want sometimes. So um, 
shout out to Dr. De Jesus. I will say Dr. Chang and Dr. De Jesus's Facebook groups are closed. I think you have to have been a Chang um, a spectrum person or have an active contract with one of the doctors in order to be accepted into the Facebook group chats. But I will put them linked in the bio just in case you, I don't know, call them and become a contract member and everything. Shout out to Spectrum though. I do want to interject that Spectrum has now a app. Whoever is on their social media team, Whoever is on there, reach out to, like, Spectrum is doing a damn thing. They got somebody to code them an app, y'all. So you can handle all of your labs, all of that stuff through the app. You get a login specifically made for you, and you do you handle that through the app. And I think it's super cool because you can talk to finance. You can do everything through the app. So shout out to them for real. Um, you can find now your app store. <laughs> then also, now we got um, Raining from Miami. As well, we got Dr. Earl. I forgot his his last name, but his Instagram will be up here as well. One of these screens. Dr. Earl, shout out to him. He sits on the board of something important. He also does assisted BBLs. I think by law in Miami now you have to do assisted BBLs, but he also teaches around the world. He has no deaths. Um, as well, Dr. Yeah, he has no deaths. And he quoted me for $12,500. You heard it, folks. $12,500 for BBL for Dr. Earl. So shout out to him. His work is very nice. Um, he, I think, I'm pretty sure he went to Duke University. Now, I don't I don't know if that was for medical, for undergrad, for what, because you know doctors, they be in school for like forever long. But he is American board certified, just like Chang and De Jesus and Dr. Jung. These are all um, board certified surgeons. So Dr. Earl, $12,500. Y'all keep asking, if I didn't go to Dr. Chang for the first round, who would I have went to? And that is my man, Dr. Mendieta. I love me some Dr. Mendieta. Dr. Mendieta reigning from, I don't want to say from. When I say from, I mean that's where they're practicing surgery, like not where they're actually from. Like I hope Dr. Mendieta is in Miami, Florida as well. Dr. Mendieta is an award-winning plastic surgeon. No deaths. He travels around the world. He just was in Turkey two, two days ago, actually. He was in Turkey, well, when this drops, probably not two days ago. But he was just in Turkey teaching other people his um, ways of doing BBL, plastic surgery, and everything. So He's a really good person. He has a private practice, which is why his price point is different. He has a full OR. So a lot of these surgeons don't have full ORs. They have half ORs. So if you ever need like a blood transfusion or anything, you will actually have to get transported to the hospital. But when Dr. Mendieta, if you ever needed that, you would get it there. So shout out to him for real. He also has his own fajas that he uses. He's very aggressive with lipo and he does really good ab etching as well. He quoted me at $15,000 for a BBL even child. He also has a nice online form that looks kind of like a Facebook where you have your own login and you get to talk to your coordinator through there. I thought it was super cool. You can put your profile picture and everything is cute. Um, and any updates will be through his portal. Now the next two is going to wrap up the list that I chose for you all and this is this next person is not my favorite person but I have a friend who went to him and she recommended him because he's really good at giving hips. He's known for giving hips um, and this is Dr. Girani. Dr. Girani I've heard a lot of things about him like back in the day. I think he used to be at Jolie. Was he at Jolie? I think he was at Jolie. Back in the day, he was at Jolie. And he had a death. He did have, he had a death a long time ago, back in the day. But he, yeah, so, yeah. We're not even going to talk about that. But, but, a lot of dolls have gone to him. He's, I guess, cleans up his act. He is board certified as well. I'm not sure what the decision was from the death. If it, if it fell on him, if it didn't fall on him. Um, but Dr. Garani quoted me at $9,000. When I told my friend this that just had her surgery like two weeks prior, she was just very confused as to why he quoted me that much when her surgery was like $6,000. So I'm not sure if it's because I've already had 
a BBL and it would be another doctor doing it. I'm I don't know or maybe he went up with his prices because he got caught up because now you can only do three BBLs a day who knows no tea no shade but he quoted me at nine thousand dollars and I thought that was absolutely ridiculous of him but I'm just a messenger to give you all the prices and I'll tell y'all my thoughts later and then the next doctor reigning from Miami, he is at Vixen. I think Garani is at Prestige. Yeah, Garani is at Prestige. His Instagram will be on the screen. And the next doctor, the last doctor, but certainly not least, is Dr. Triggs. He is at Vixen Plastic Surgery in Miami, Florida. And he is not board certified. I found this out way after the fact. We're going to have to talk about this. The reason why I found out he was not board certified, one, I do always preach to y'all to go on the American Board of Plastic Surgery website and to look up the doctor to make sure that they're board certified. But two, I really found that out from the Facebook group. And that's why he calls himself a cosmetic reconstruction person. He can't say he's a plastic surgeon because he's not, he's not verified in, from the board of American Plastic Surgery or American Board of Plastic Surgery. He's not on the list, babes. But he is board eligible. That's what they like to say in the surgery group. No tea, no shade though visual his instagram is right here although i went through his instagram i was highly considering him like when i say highly considering like i had it was really god that pushed me away from that but the price that he gave me was four thousand five hundred dollars so he's the cheapest of um actually no he's priced the same as de jesus four thousand five hundred dollars um so I'm not going to tell you what doctor I picked, but I can tell you what doctor I almost picked that I was saved from. And I almost picked Dr. Trigg. From joining that Facebook group that I told y'all dolls to do, or future dolls to do, I learned that the coordinators are horrible. I've Okay, not all coordinators, but their communication is horrible. I've learned that the girl that monitors this Facebook group is kind of messy and unprofessional, in my personal opinion. And then I've also dealt with the coordinator hand in hand, who was also very disrespectful and unprofessional with me. She gave me the price point. Usually when you get a price point after you submit these, you have so long usually it's a week you have a week to give your deposit and lock in that price if not you have to inquire about another price it may go up it may go down you never know typically they do have specials tax season tax season is usually a huge special area for plastic surgery so is like mother's day um around christmas even in the summer they run specials just because the summer is not a super high season i wouldn't recommend getting plastic surgery in the summer but you know if it's a special, it's a special. But I will say that I experienced firsthand Dr. Trigg's coordinator being very disrespectful to me. And I they, they were texting me, first of all. I thought that was unprofessional. Like, why are you texting me? Then she gave me the price and was like, and by the way, and by the way, <laughs> um, don't fight me because this price expires in two hours. I was like, wait, what? So then I had another additional question to ask her. I said, hey, does he do ab etching? Because I wanted to get those prices for y'all as well. And she took the next day to answer. So it was just like, okay, but even if I wanted to lock in my price, you took the next day to answer. So the price expired. Like, come on now. Just ghetto. It was just a ghetto mess. Then I found out they don't even give FMLA and short-term disability paperwork to their dolls from the group chat. I was like, this is just a hot ass mess. Then I'm seeing dolls complain about their butt being lumpy and out of, like, so y'all do with that information as you will, child. But just know if you ever get any red flags from a coordinator, like this should be an easy process. All the other doctors on the list, I had an easy process inquiring about price for them. If I had any questions, they were calling me, they were checking up on me. Um, oh, I forgot one. Dr. Magic Mike, how can I forget him? Y'all, I am so sorry. Last but not least, we really have Dr. Magic Mike. Dr. Magic Mike is really, really good too. He has... Um, his Instagram pisses me off. I think he needs a better social media team. But I will also link down a body sculpting page. I'm not affiliated with her at all. I just really like, um, I wanted her to do my body sculpting stuff when I was in Miami, but she was a bit further. So I was not able to. I think she's in like Fort Lauderdale or something or on like the border between the two. 
anyway i'll link her down below too check out her instagram because she posts a lot of doctors a lot of dolls go to her and she usually posts like their before and after she will also tag the doctor so you're able to see different doctors work um not just from the doctor page and not just like a day after surgery you know so dr magic mike does a really good job and i actually learned who he was from her page and i inquired about him and he is at six thousand five hundred as well so he costs just he costs the same as Chang does um, and the process with him was very smooth. The process with all of them were very smooth except for Dr. Traits at Vixen. Like I said, I don't know what they had going on. The name speaks for itself. Just a mad ghetto mess over there. But I did want to still give y'all the price point just in case y'all were going to go to him. When it comes to these doctors and inquiring about things, this should be a smooth process like I said. It should be you getting the information, you submitting your photos. You also are um, usually having to fill out a questionnaire about your health. It's asking, you know, stuff like do you have asthma? Are you allergic to stuff? Like like I said, I'm allergic to amoxicillin. They would have to know that because they usually clean fat with amoxicillin. So they need to give me a different antibiotic. Um, they're asking like do you smoke are you pregnant stuff like that when's the last time you breastfed just a health questionnaire and so usually when you fill that out that's when you're getting pricing for surgery and like I said you usually have like a, a long time like a week before you can lock in your date with your deposit now when it came to the ghetto big sympathetic surgery saying I had two hours that was a new one for me this is usually also done in email the only place that was like texting me was vixen um which I thought was just weird and other than that so yeah that's the video y'all like I y'all can't say I don't do nothing for y'all y'all can't say I don't do nothing for y'all so yeah check these doctors out um let me know what you think I didn't want to go on a whole world tour with doctors oh I also do want to input that Dr. Fisher is I can tell y'all Dr. Fisher too I wasn't considering him like that but Dr. Fisher is a good doctor he is in Miami he has his own private unique aesthetic surgery center he used to be with Jolie with Dr. Garani but he has his own center now and let me I'm a, look <laughs> I'm on their like surgery email list so they'd be giving out the just Dr. Fisher's liposuction is at $7,000 right now and that includes five massages, a garment, four lipoforms, one ab board, a pair of stockings, a back triangle, and a drug test. Now a lot of these things, a lot of these prices do include something. I just didn't feel like pulling them all up and telling y'all what includes what and what doesn't. But that one, just his liposuction is $7,000 and just his, his BBL is actually $9,000. So he's went significantly up um, from there. Those are the doctors that I inquired about. I was going to inquire about Dr. Williams for you all because he is very popular, but um, I feel some type, I don't want to say I feel some type of way towards him. It's just that I know somebody that went to Dr. Williams and they didn't have a good experience. And I hear a lot of dolls in the Facebook group talk about their bad experience with 305 surgery center as a whole so i didn't even want to inquire about dr williams i almost took dr Triggs out this video but i really had to tell y'all what was going on with that that mess so um it's no tino shade to him i've never met him personally but it was enough red flags of the coordinator trying to go off on me the coordinator texting me the coordinator not messaging back in a timely manner then saying that's my fault um the coordinator saying that he does ab etching and then when i ask for proof she has no proof it yeah so be careful out here if something doesn't feel right don't force it because there's always somebody else that you can go to so i hope y'all a safe time inquiring about surgery i will see y'all in the next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button press that bell for the next one and i'll see y'all later